Oh, it didn't go, okay. Hey, this is the loot we got from uh, Hong Kong Market. I have to show you what it is later, but it's, uh, it's a huge place. Huge place, and you can't take video inside, but I'll have to show you some of the loot that I got when we get home. We got some, some good stuff, too. And we got tapioca drink. Yep, you got chocolate, you got mango. And I got um, taro. Some of the loot I got from Hong Kong Market. Some uh, Chinese barbecue seasoning, rice noodles. This is uh, Vietnamese coffee. I'll have to show you how to make some Vietnamese coffee with this little fixture later. <clears throat> but basically, you put the coffee grounds in there and pour co uh, hot water in it drips down into a cup of ice, but that's pretty cool. Some coffee agar mix. This is like coffee jello. Um, these are pickled radishes. You just eat those with rice. It's kind of a, a garnish. Uh, this is moon cake. It's, uh, you usually get these on Chinese New Year, but <clears throat> I like them and I don't want to wait till Chinese New Year. Um, <laughs> my son got a toothpick dispenser. A little bird thing. These are pretty cool. These are strawberry, they call them love letters, but they're like a pastry cookie. Pretty good. Um, these are all uh, from my childhood memories, basically. I, I remember eating all of this, except the coffee, obviously, but I do remember adults drinking the coffee when I was a kid. Um, these are dried salted plums, they're really good. These are kind of like a uh, Vietnamese version of candy. We did have candy too, but we would we would eat these like candy. Uh, shrimp flavored chips. Actually, I didn't have these when I was a kid, but they look cool, so I got some. <clears throat> this is the Vietnamese version of Jello. What you do is you uh, I don't know what the heck these things are, but you boil them and it makes a, a like a Jello consistency when it cools. Um, the tapioca tapioca drinks we were drinking. Uh, these are the, the, I guess, the raw tapiocas. When you boil them, they, they turn dark. Uh, I didn't have these in my childhood either, but my kids wanted them, so I got them. These we got by mistake. We thought these were these, but anyway, um, we'll ah. give them a shot. We'll put them in pudding or something. Um, dried squid, yum. Different type of fried squid. I just remembered the packaging. I don't remember which one I like better, but oh well. And these are um, <clears throat> Chinese, let me show you, Chinese style sausage made with pork and chicken. If you notice, it's product of the USA. It was pretty ironic. My son pointed out that you go to Walmart and you find a bunch of stuff made in China. You go to Hong Kong Market and you find a bunch of stuff made in the U.S. See, like this. Hot jerky product of USA. So, I guess that's the deal. If you want U.S. made products, you go to a, an Asian Chinese store. Chinese brand, too. Yeah. <laughs> Chinese brand beef jerky. So, if you want uh, some stuff made in the U.S., you go to a, uh, a Chinese food store or, or an Asian food store. If you want uh, Asian stuff, you go to Walmart. <clears throat> That's pretty much it. Oh, and we got these uh, fashionable coolie hats. So that's pretty much it. Here, show you the bird. Uh oh, you dropped one. Oh my gosh, well it's gonna explode. All right, see right, the bird in action. <laughs> amazing, simply amazing. I think it's just a little pork. I won't do that. One more thing I did forget, because my son tore it to him, but uh, portable jelly. I didn't have these as a kid either, but uh, <laughs> you look on it, it's Jolly Jolly. And uh, they're kind of like little, come on, focus. They're little... Um, it's like a bite of jello. Yeah, like a bite of jello, except a little thicker. But they come in all different flavors. These are kind of cool. I tend to, I think, 
I remember they had something like this a while back that at, they sold at Walmart, and I can't remember what the heck they were called, but they, I can't remember there was like a big recall on them, but I don't know if these are the same, but they look the same. That's pretty yeah. much it. Oh, get to get. Got me some, some wasabi. 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 Yeah. I don't know. There, there it is. No, nope. wasabi. There it is. Wasabi. What about your jump drum? My who? Your jump drum. Oh, yeah. Uh, these are fruits. Um, these are <laughs> lychees, but they're, uh, I don't know, they're, they're a sweet fruit. They're peeled in, in syrup. And these, <laughs> my mom used to, uh, used to say I had hair like, like this fruit. It's a hairy fruit. So, uh, you guys can, um, Kind of get your your naughty thoughts going there, hairy fruit. All, All right. right, that's pretty much it. Oh, and rice paper. This is the main ingredient in spring rolls. So if you ever want to get spring rolls like they have in Oriental restaurants or, or Asian restaurants, you gotta have some rice paper. And I'll, I'll try to make a video making uh, spring rolls too. And that's what these uh, rice noodles are for. You put these. And you, you shrimp and all that and wrap it up in these ways. Okay, that's it. Anything else? Um, See you, you later. Show, did you show them the uh, sardine can? Oh, yeah, and the sardines. And what bananas? I showed them the little bananas. What are these? What about the this spam? This is black pepper or white pepper. Spam? Oh, yeah, and, and you can't forget when you go to the Oriental food store, you can't forget to get yourself some, some spam. Because uh, spam is Asian, right? I think I think so. Oh, look, little bananas. <laughs> oh wait, there's like a jar right there. Yeah, I, that was the wasabi. 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 All right. See you later.